Hi, welcome to this a new video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can index or add documents to Solar using the admin UI and the JSON format. Here I will show you how to add one or more documents at the same time. So in order to do that, let's go to our Solar. Here is the portal which is running and we go to our collections. Currently now here we have no documents in our collection so it's empty. Now if we run the query we can see that also the confirmation here is that we have nothing. We have zero document found. Then when we select everything. So before doing that is Nice to see what is happening in the background. If we go to our collections here, here is a directory to the collections. Your collections may have a different name. And here, go to the configurations and then open the manage schema. One important thing to know here is that as I as we cover in the previous tutorial, the difference between manage schema.xml and schema.xml is that in schema.xml that happened before Solar 7.0, we need to add the field here manually. But like here, the sample document that we have, the only field name field that we have here is the ID. This one, we have the versions, the root and so on, that's are there by default. But important to know that we have the ID fields. And now you'll need to add documents and after adding those documents documents like uh, after adding a document uh, like this one title you have the ID which is already in our managed schema you have the title the contents and the category this uh, what solar does is it will extract these attributes here, this field here, and update our manage schema with. So after adding the document, we should have new fields here automatically populated by Solar. So that's what is happening in the background. And then to continue with our tutorial, let's go to here and take the sample document that I've prepared and then come to uh, Select a collections. First thing that we need is, is to select a collection in which we want to add the document and then go to this documents options. And here we set here to update, request handler to update. Here the tab will go to JSON if you want to add it in JSON format. And here we add the documents in JSON format here. So here we have the ID, the title, the contents, and the category. Now if we submit this one, we should expect a message to come here after this one is running successfully created yes we have the response that um, our document has been successfully added now in order to see that here we go to query run the query here execute it and if we come here, we have one document and this is a document which is added. And now if we go back, if we go back to our documents, now if you go back to our schema, sorry, minus schema and open it, we can see, we'll probably see that uh, uh, it will be populated by new fields and this one is done automatically by solar now let's try to even the structure has changed and then if we scroll down to field we can see that now we have the id the title contents categories these are new fields that have been automatically uh, uh, populated by solar which extracted uh, manual and this make it very flexible when we want to work with uh, big data where a document may have different fields, different structure. Documents are really unstructured. This really make it very easy to deal with this type of documents here. Yeah. Then the type also have been set to 
general. So that's what is happening. Now if we continue with our tutorial and try to add more documents, more than one document in JSON format using this admin UI, we come back here and then let's take again. And this we take like uh, this documents here, simple document that we have. In order to achieve this one, we want to add two documents. We add the same thing here. Let's change this ID to two, two, two. Then we continue, we set a comma. Again, the next documents, three, three, three. Right, if you go to the third documents, we set again the comma, make three, uh, sorry, ID set it to four, four, four. So here is how we add an array of documents in JSON format in admin UI. Yeah. So after doing that, of course, we continue with the same settings, we submit it, and then, bam, successfully added here. Now, if we go to our query and try to see the content of our index, we can see that now we have four documents. We have our document. These are the two one that we have added now in the index. So this is the purpose of using this, um, was the purpose of this tutorial, is was to show you how you can add one document in, in, in Solar, and yeah, how you can add one or more document in Solar using uh, the JSON format. And also bring your attention to the need of dealing with uh, to the modifications or the changes happening in the background in the money schema. So I hope that for now, uh, everything is clear to you and you have any comments, feel free to drop it and stay tuned for the next uh, tutorial. Bye.